So I move in next door to Julie. She's still my pal today. I mean, this is 50 years ago. And she's a Christian. Shall I say this? I used to smoke dope with her husband. But she's a believer. Okay, I'm out of here. Uh, that's it. I had no idea that this was going to go in this direction. <coughs> no, and I should have known. <laughs> and um, we, we call this connecting podcast. That's not the kind of connection we were talking about. And she would talk to me about Jesus, and she would give me those horrid little chick tracks. You know what I mean? Do you know what that oh, is? Oh, do I know what... It's, so I, I told her that I had this Lutheran grandmother that was praying for me, and she gave me this chick track about the grandmother who's praying for the... And um, God saved me. Mm-hmm. See, Paul, I mean, theologically speaking, I, I, I was always reformed in the sense that I knew I didn't save myself. And I, and I knew I wasn't looking for that kind of thing. Mm. I mean, God just, just crashed into my life mm. and saved me. I remember the night, summer of 1970, 1971, I lived in the ghetto, and people are fighting, and it's terrifying, and I got this baby, and I'm just, you know, a mess, and... Uh, I get down on my knees and I just said, God, I, I don't know. I, my life's yours. I don't know what that means. Within a couple of months, I was in Bible college. <laughs> and, and I've always been the sort of person which has been, it's kind of like that conversation we had. It's just like, well, I don't know. Should we do this? Okay, I guess we should. You know, that, I, I mean, it's not, people say, well, how, uh, did you like really plan on being a writer? It's like, no, I've never planned anything in my life. There's never been a plan. It's just, <laughs> so I'm in Bible yeah, college. Yeah, well, and, yeah. I'm sorry, anybody, yeah. anybody who's in ministry and has any humility can say, this is not, I mean, somebody yeah. else has written this story. It's sure. not, not me. It's just like, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. So, um, became a Christian in Bible college, uh, the height of the Jesus movement in Southern California. I show up at this church in overalls barefoot, you know, that kind of thing. And here's Phil's family, my husband, Phil. And they're all buttoned up, you know what I mean? There I did it. They're all buttoned up and I'm this crazy person off the street. And um, yeah, that's the story. I never, I never planned it this way. 